When we play Minecraft, a big part of the game is gathering resources and storing them for future use. Now you may be asking yourself, where do you store stuff? Actually, you're probably not asking yourself that question because you probably already know the answer. Yes, it's chess, and they play a very major role in Minecraft. But what if I told you that chess can actually teach us a very important life lesson as well, and that the way you interact with chess can potentially even change your life for the better? It's no secret that there are many different ways to make a chess room in Minecraft, and it seems like everyone has their specific way they'd like to do it. But ask yourself this, how do you, the viewer, personally make your chess room while playing Minecraft? Do you just plop down a chest and start putting stuff in there, or do you meticulously place chests in tactical positions around your base to blend in with the build? Do you mix groups of items with no correlation into certain chests? Or do you organize your chest by items with common traits? These are just some examples of ways to go about making your chest room in Minecraft. But the point I'm trying to make is that some players take the time to fully organize their chests, and some players don't. And yes, it's true that how people decide to manage their chests is a matter of individual decision and personal preference. Nevertheless, I'm here to tell you that having organized chests with labels and similar items is not only a benefit to Minecraft, but a skill that could help our day-to-day -day lives as well. When we have an organized chest room in Minecraft, it is much easier to find the blocks and items that you are looking for. This is because all the chests are labeled and organized so you can quickly go from section to section finding exactly what you need. And of course it takes effort as well, as when you need to put stuff away, it might take a minute or two because you will have to pay a visit to the chest with the category of the item you want to drop off for every object you have. But just like in real life though, it's rewarding when we do this, as it instills a sense of responsibility, discipline, and order in us. And while it's tempting to just throw everything in a chest, when we come back to those items, we sometimes spend minutes just trying to find where they are. This will cause us to lose motivation and creativity for whatever we need those items for. And this isn't just a hunch either, but actually psychologically proven, as when us humans enter a state of disorganization repeatedly, it causes anxiety to rise and our focus to plummet. This is truly why organizing our chests in Minecraft is important, but even more significant is how this affects us in real life. And that's where the real problem is, because the honest truth is a lot of people today suffer from being too cluttered and disorganized, and when this happens, it leaves people feeling trapped. And there's a reason that a task as trivial as making your bed every day feels so good. Because even when we have our worst, most disordered, disorganized, and dysfunctional days, we can at least come home to a bed that is made, and most importantly, made by us. Even though a small accomplishment, an accomplishment nonetheless. And at the end of the day, that bed acts as a pillar of stability to our day-to-day -day lives. I know there's a lot to unpack in this video, but the important thing to really understand is living a more organized life can vastly improve many aspects of it. Chess and Minecraft are a perfect analogy to this, as a more organized chess room improves many parts of the game and leads to a more overall creative and focused mind. I think as a society, we need to treat the skill of organization more highly, because organization and stability go hand in hand in many cases, and I can bet most people watching this video probably don't want a disorderly life. I know I don't, and part of the reason why I made this video was to motivate myself to be more organized as that is something I lack greatly. So next time when you start a Minecraft world and decide to start building your chess room, try organizing it and see what happens. Because it may come across as a relatively inconsequential task, but it could be the start of not just being more organized in Minecraft, but more organized and disciplined in real life as well.